My name is James Boyd. Welcome to A Burning Fire. Romans 5, verse 10, is another of the many passages that teach how God saves man by both the life and the death of Christ. It reads, For if, when we were yet enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of His Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by His life. In God's plan, it takes both the death and the resurrection of Christ to complete the scheme of salvation. Christ could not have been raised except He first died for our sins, nor could He give life if, after dying, He remained dead. We do not have a dead Savior, but a living Lord who saves. And by His death, the penalty of sin was paid by the perfect one, and by His resurrection, He can say to man, I will give you life eternal. The way God designed our path to heaven is so marvelous, yet is offered to undeserving humanity and becomes a reality upon man's faith and obedience to the gospel. There's nothing complicated about it, but the simplicity of it does not mean it can be ignored. Until next time.